Mercenary. Drum. Cartel. Hey, it's Tony Anthems with DrumVault.com. And uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm also going to be doing a VST review for MercenaryDrumCartel.com. Um, it's a product um, that was sent to me. I was tapped it up with the, um, the developer and the pretty cool I, I've been checking it out and I'm doing a review now and uh, it comes in it actually it, it comes in a VS it comes like in a zip folder um, so you know you unzip it uh, once you open it up and uh, for the Mac platform that's what we're going to be doing today it's going to be a Mac platform so you got the two files these folders here the AU Mac and you have the Mac now in each of these folders you have a file which is called a component file and then you have the VST file and then what you're going to do is you're just going to put those in those respective folders in your hard drive. You know, you go to your go menu, you know, you go to your computer, and then you go to your hard drive. And then once you click into your hard drive, you go to your library, audio, you click into plugins. And then once you get in there, uh, you'll see component, and that'll be the component folder. And that's where you're going to put the component file. And the component file, you're going to put that right over... right about there so that's a titan dot component file now the other file is the vst file so what you're going to do is you're going to take that file and you're going to you know actually go down to vst in this folder here and then you go in your vst folder put that file in there and it will be about right there okay now once you have those two files into your um respective folders you know then you're going to open up your DAW now it depends on what you want to use you can use logic you can use pro tools you can use I use the MPC DAW so that's my personal thing so what you do is you open up your DAW and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you um, you scan your new plugin so that way your DAW recognizes that you installed the new plugin the Titan right and then once you uh, have done that you'll be able to put it into the sequence menu and click on it and you should be able to pop up right here and um, this is pretty cool I like it it has um it has a few editing features you know it has um it has like a um, traditional reverb it has a glide feature which kind of gives you a little bit of um kind of a pr almost like a pitch bend but kind of gives it a little bit of a um puts like a, a little bit of a tail on it you have your attack and you have your release which is very important um, for when you want to project the way you want your sound to come in um, and then you have your um, you can your quality here I'm assuming that this may be some type of maybe you can get into a low fidelity looks like you can maybe do like a bit reduction kind of thing right there um, right here you have your velocity um, settings you have the type of voice you have your LFO range you know you can adjust you know LFO type you know the pitch and everything so uh, which is cool because you know and then with your LFO rate and depth I, I like to use those settings when I want to um, kind of figure out which 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 kind of BPM I'm going to use for that particular melody or whatever the case may be um, it has some pretty cool sounds in it and we're going to just go through some of these sounds and check them out Setting sometimes I wanna kind of do it on a stretch like kind of give a little bit of a tail. Thank you. 
this VST has some real nice voices in it. I, you know, and I really like the voice sounds because sometimes you get um, a lot of VOXs, boxes, is what they call it. I call it voices. Um, a lot of times you get those generic ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, you know, you get like some real, but these kind of, these are real smooth. I kind of like this. <laughs> definitely good to add to the arsenal and i would i would say and i would project that um you know that mercenary will definitely come out with some expansions for reasonable um reasonable at reasonable cost i would say um and this is definitely cool mercenary drum cartel dot com that's m-e-r-z-i-n-a-r-y drum c-a-r-t-e-l dot com Check that out, you know, make sure you support, definitely support your, um, your independent, you know, sound designers and everything like that, you know, because like I said, we work hard to, um, bring you a consistent product. Speaking of such, um, shout out to drumvault.com. That is definitely, um, a platform that I put out exclusive drum kits, um, loop kits so on and so forth um definitely check that out also as well i have some kits i have um be on the lookout flipping keys volume four that comes out on the 23rd i have my 30th medieval kit volume two and what's good about this vst here the titan vst is that um i can see myself using midi kits with that you know getting a nice little midi kit and using some of those sounds and, and really getting into some, especially chords. I think this would be a real good tool to use for chord progression. Definitely. Once again, make sure you follow me on Instagram. And that is at Tony Anthony. Peace.